combination of Grava style and the LS100 EX fiber is a winning combination for uh, marking uh, metal and some plastics. What you see here is I'm using the uh, laser beam to jog where I want to, uh, the highest point on this part, hitting the auto Z and it's uh, setting the appropriate depth of the part so that I get the uh, Oh, the best burn possible. Now I'm using the laser beam to outline the letters that I want to laser onto the part so that uh, I know that they're going to hit the part where they need to and it's kind of a double check so that I don't mess a part up. Only time you may uh, mess the part up is in the very beginning when you're trying to determine the uh, the best power, speed, and frequency to cut this part. It's the combination of the three that gives you the correct burn. And nice thing about Grava Style, I'm able to save all these settings, all three settings, with the job so that I don't have to go through and figure them out each time that I want to uh, laser something. Because each metal that you do has a, a little different consistency of carbon and whatever else in them. It's lasering now. if you couldn't tell. Everything is in real time so you can see how fast it is. It's a vectored cut. The character heights 40 thousandths. Now we're going to mark the uh, part on the top line. The top line and the second line, I use the same Z for each one of them. The second line, you're engraving in a cavity or into a, uh, I'm going to say a pocket or a recessed area. So it's nice having that three inch lens to uh, to get you down in there so that you don't have to get get the mirror or the lens any closer than you have to. Now we're cutting in the recessed area. The LS100 uh, fiber is a um, EX is a, it was called a, a gantry system. It gives you a 12 by 24 inch engraving area, and uh, I don't know what, what you know about uh, YAGs or fiber lasers, but most of them are Galvo, and that means that your engraving area is two inches by two inches, three by three, four by four, up to maybe seven by seven. Uh, and, and keeping it under you know fifty thousand dollars so uh, this gives you a 12 by 24 inch area so that you can set lots of uh, parts in and it's a uh, it's a whole lot more cost effective for part marking and does a very nice job on marking just about any metal
the metal it's marking now it has a I won't say a glossy surface but it has more of a uh, polished surface than the others. The others are more like uh, I'm gonna call it uh, powder coat. Uh, this is this is more polished. Same power setting and uh, as you'll see the the burn's beautiful. Finally, the uh, the last part. Uh, here again, I, I made a fixture out of acrylic that I was able just to set things in, and then in the software I was able to lay everything out, and so that um, I could just put one part in and mark it, or I could put uh, five five of these parts in and mark it, or six or whatever whatever I have holes for for the particular part, and just call the software up put the numbers in and uh, mark it so very uh, it's very handy that way so you, you don't have to you don't do a full run of anything you can just do either one or 21 depending on you know how your fixture is set up and here again this is our same gantry system that we use in our CO2 laser that has been so successful and it's industrial strength